Good day. This will be the last episode of Salvation Catastrophe, the Greek War, 1922. Initially, my goal was to cover this up to the end of the war in real time, but I've decided I don't want to do that. There were certain threats against friends of mine, colleagues of mine, and I've decided to essentially stop this project. Uh, I don't think the political environment between Greece and Turkey and Greeks and Turks is such that the project like this has anything useful to offer. So I'm going to cover the events that I haven't covered until October, and this will be the last episode. I'm also not going to permit comments. I will be deleting the video slowly, slowly, and saving them on my computer for use maybe in a future date. Thank you all who subscribed and followed me until now. Thank you all for those who engage with me in good uh, nature and in uh, good conscience. But this is where this has to stop. This is not my job. It is not my research area. It was something I did as a hobby. It is something I did for my daughter. I will continue recording videos for her and only for her. And the rest of you, well, tally ho and have a good time with your lives. Let's get to it. Uh, okay. On 5th July 1920, Prime Minister Lefteris Venizelos of Greeks turns down the request of the General Headquarters of the Asia Minor Army by General Leonidas Paraskevopoulos to launch immediate operations against Afyon Karahisar and Eskis here, citing the priority of securing Eastern Thrace. The 32nd Rifle Division of the 11th Red Army invades Armenian Zangezur. The Sovietization of the area follows. On 7th July 1920, Greek forces occupied Prussia, Bursa after coordination with local British commanders and without the prior permission of the Greek Prime Minister, who prioritizes Eastern Thrace. Georgia incorporates Batum. The Politburo in Moscow confirms Chicherin's non-aggression policy in the Caucasus. July 8, 1920, the second note by Bekir Sami as representative of the Turkish Grand National Assembly to Armenia demands that Armenia accept the Treaty of Batum of 1918, borders as the starting point for negotiations uh, that essentially created a tiny Armenian state centered around uh, Erevan. Between 11th and 16th July 1920, there is a successful Armenian operation against Turkish supported insurgents at Badi Basar Davalu. On 12th July 1920, the Treaty of Afghstafa between Soviet Azerbaijan and Georgia takes place. On 13 July 1920, the Second National Congress of Western Armenians ends. Between 16th and 20th July 1920, an Armenian government military operation forces the Nakhichevan Muslims to flee and almost submit to Erevan. This is avoided and averted by the arrival of the Red Army at Nakhichevan on 20th July 1920 in support of the Turkish Grand National Assembly. On 17th July 1920, the Supreme Council, buyered by Greek successes against the forces of the nationalists, responds to the Ottoman reply to the draft treaty, taking a hard line. Between 19 July and 23rd September 1920, you have the second Duzje insurrection against the Turkish Grand National Assembly. Between 19th of July and 7th August 1920, you have the Second Congress of the Communist International with the participation of the Armenian Communist Party. There's a decision to support the Turkish Grand National Assembly as part of a wider anti-imperialist policy and prepare a Congress of the Peoples of the East. Between 20th July and 20th August 1920, we have the inner goal incident against the Turkish Grand National Assembly. On 20th July 1920, for the beginning of Soviet organized First Congress of the Peoples of the East at Baku, on 22nd July 1920, the Crown Council at Istanbul Constantinople recommends accepting the Allied terms from San Remo. On 28th July 1920, the Armenians respond to Bekir Sami by emphatically rejecting the legitimacy of the Treaty of Batum. Khalil Pasha with Soviet escorts arrives at Nakhichevan <coughs> with the first Soviet coal shipment from the Turkish, for the Turkish Grand National Assembly. Between the 30th and 31st July 1920, you have the July events in Athens. The attended assassination of Venizelos in Paris sparks Venizelos' riots in Athens, accumulating the murder of opposition politician Ion Dragoumis. On 31st July 1920, uh, the Armenian general Dro attacks Soviets at Nakhichevan and captures the gold destined for the Turkish Grand National Assembly. 
First August 1920, Turkish forces from the 11th Kafkasian Division entered Nakhichevan, again under the guise of revolutionary Turkish Eastern Front Red Detachment, and joined the Red Army. Armenia declares full mobilization. Between 3rd and 12th August 1920, Dro and Nechdech fight the Red Army around Goris. They take it, but then it is retaken by a decisive counterattack of the 28th Rifle Division of the 11th Army. The Armenians are forced out of southern Zangezur. Clashes continue even after the signing of the Soviet-Armenian Treaty. Between 4 and 5 August 1920, there is a failed attempted coup of Mihran Damadiani in Adana in support of an Armenian state. 5 August 1920, the siege of Antep begins as part of the Franco-Turkish War. 10 August 1920, the Treaty of Severus is signed. The treaty is signed between the, or the same day, a treaty signed between the Russian Soviet Federated Socialist Republics and the Republic of Armenia at Tiflis. On 30 August 1920, the UK rejects an Armenian attempted delegate an official embassy. On 14 August 1920, Lenin meets the delegation of the Turkish Grand National Assembly. On 24 August 1920, the draft treaty of friendship between the Russian Soviet for Federated Socialist Republics and the Turkish Grand National Assembly take place. Between 34 and 31 August 1920, the Allied missions in the Caucasus come to Erevan to try and force Armenia to break with the Soviets. In the end, they accept the treaty but refuse to support Armenia's attempt to resolve the Karabakh issue via Soviet mediation. On 26 August 1920, Enver Pasha writes to Mustafa Kemal at a troop from Moscow. On 29 August 1920, the Battle of Ushak takes place in the Greek Turkish War. The city of Ushak, an important uh, staging point for Greek operations further uh, to the east is occupied. On 31st August 1920, the campaign of Zangezur between Armenian partisans Adir Nizdeh and allied Soviet Zeri Turkish forces begins. Between 1st and 7th September 1920, the first Congress of the People of the East. Turkish, Azeris and Armenians formed the largest national contingents. Ever Pasha addressed the Congress, making the case for support to Mustafa Kemal of the Turk. Various Itihadists, including Bahedein Shakir, also participated. Between 5th September and 30th December 1920, you have the second Yozgat insurrection against the Turkish Grand National Assembly. Between 7 and 13 September 1920, successful Armenian expedition to capture Sur Malu. On 10th September 1920, the Lazarus Parliament of Greece is dissolved and elections are declared for 25th October 1920. Military law is lifted. Which will in 12 and 13 September 1920, the Armenian Turkish War begins. Armenian forces defeated at the Battle of Peniak Oltu district. On 15 September 1920, Mustafa Supi, Ismail Haki, and others create the Turkish Communist Party. On 18 September 1920, there is an abortive attempt at the Franco Turkish Accord. On 20 September 1920, Mustafa Kemal Turk approves a full invasion of Kars district after early Turkish success against Armenia. On 23rd September 1920, Alexandre Mirand becomes President of France, deploying Paul de Chanel. New Prime Minister is Georges Légus. On 28th September 1920, the full report of the Committee upon the Arbitration of the Boundary between Armenia and Turkey is submitted to the US Department of State. Between 28th September and 2nd October 1920, we have the Battle of Sari Kamish. On 30th September 1920, the Armenian government declares martial law. And that's the situation at the end of this month. And this is the last episode. Again, thank you all who followed it. I will probably do some events about the edited book volume that's coming out somewhere in October 15th, Salvation and Catastrophe of the Greek Turkish War, 1919-1923. Uh, but that's going to be all. Uh, so good luck to everybody. Uh, I would like to say keep up an optimistic spirit, but I don't believe that's the case. Uh, just find what is really important in your lives and grab that and hug it and don't let it go. That's all. Kalisinekia Solus. Uh, e. Chancellor uh, Herkes, and that's all. Thank you.